All right, everybody, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. Uh, this hour, we are going to be uh, practicing our uh, TOEFL, uh, TOEFL uh, a TOEFL speaking exercise. Um, this is a timed test, okay? You have, uh, or a timed exercise, you have uh, uh, 15 seconds to read the question and then 45 seconds to answer the question, okay? Um, now, your answers need to be in a mini essay format where you have an introduction, okay? Supporting statements. Okay, usually between two and four, okay, um, and then a conclusion at, at the very end. Now your intro and your conclu conclusion should be uh, uh, simple, okay, one uh, one sentence each, okay, uh, and uh, and to the point, and they wrap things up, okay. Uh, so yes, that's what we're going to be practicing this hour. Uh, let's see who we have in class so far. Hi there, I'm Bottle. Welcome back. Hi again, teacher. Thank you. Good to have you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we also have. Let's see here. What's going on? Uh, Matthias, how you doing, Matthias? Hi, Chad. How are you? Um, I have I'm doing great. With the, uh, with the audio, I I hear you twice, so I I go out and, and then return. Um, it's because you have uh, a Google, or sorry, the Verbling window open. So if you uh, if you uh, close down the Verbling window, you'll be able to uh, hear me only once. Does that make sense? Oh, he's gone. Uh, let's see here. Oh no, nope, you're still here. Cool. Yeah. So close down your Verbling your Verbling window. Yes. Uh, Mustafa. Thank you. How are you, Mustafa? Hello. How are you? What's up, Chad? I'm doing great. Nice. Not nice much. To meet you. Not much. Good to see you again. Good to see you. All right. How about uh, Nurel? Hi, teacher. Hi there. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How about you? Excellent. I'm doing very well. Thank you. Good, good to have you. Thank you. Okay. We also have Trang. Hi there, Trang. Welcome. Hi. Nice to see you. Hi there. Good to see you as well. Um, let's see, Donato. Welcome to class, Donato. Hi, teacher. Hi there. Good evening. And we also have Claudio. Hi there, Claudio. Welcome. Hey, Chad. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. And I think that is everybody. Oh, Mario came in. Hey there, Mario. Hello, Chad. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing well. I do. I'm doing great. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Thank you. All right. And last one in is uh, Igor. Hi, Igor. How you doing? Uh, make sure that you are unmuted, Igor. Oh, Hi, okay. Hello. okay. There you are. You yep, I can hear you. All right, very good. Very good. Okay. All right, you guys, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. The um, the link that I'm going going to be working off of is in the chat box right now. Oops. Okay. Um, now, uh, during the class, I'm only going to be in the Google chat box. The Verbling chat does not update for me. Okay, so I'm only going to be in the Google chat box area. Okay. Uh, we are going to be starting off with Trang here. And yeah. Trang, we are. So yesterday we got to. Um, so let's uh, let's try this. We're gonna go to 31, 34, or 31 through 40. Okay, and we're gonna start off on 35 right here in the middle. All right. So uh, this will be your question here, Trang. Mm, okay. So uh, go ahead and read that, please. What is your favorite creation? Yes. What is your favorite recreational activity? Describe it and say why you enjoy doing it. I don't know what is 
I should know activity. Okay, a recreational activity is uh, is something that you do for fun. Okay, it could be a sport. Right, it could be shopping. Right, it could be um, it could be watching. Uh, let's see, watching sports. Okay, maybe you like to go to a game. Uh, maybe it uh, uh, you like to ride your bike. Okay, so these type of things are are recreational activities. Does that make sense? So recreation recreation means fun. So it's any activity that you do that wherein you have fun. Okay? Yes. Okay, all right. You've got 15 seconds. Okay, you ready? Yes. Um, Go ahead. One of my favorite recreational activity is go shopping. Um, and I have money and I have free time. I like walking in the shopping mall and um, uh, go to a clothes shop and try clothes. When I buy a beautiful clothes, I feel very happy because it makes me become witty and beautiful and um, because of that reason, even uh, after uh, going shopping, I uh, spend a lot of money. I still think it's my favorite recreational activity. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, so let's uh, let's take a look here. Um, you started off with a very good introduction, and you had some supporting statements. Okay. Let's work on the conclusion a little bit. Okay. Um, uh, uh, you can say you can say words like that's why shopping is my favorite recreational activity. Okay, that would end it very nicely. Okay, uh, you can say in conclusion, uh, that's why I I, I uh, prefer to shop. Okay, uh, for my recreational activity. Okay, things like that. Or for these reasons, shopping is my favorite uh, recreational activity. Okay, mm -hmm. um, all of those would uh, would give a hint that you are. Uh, ending your your statement, okay, and then it wraps up everything that you said. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Uh, good. Now, uh, in your in your uh, um, your answer here, you said uh, um, my favorite recreational activity is go shopping. Okay. Here we would need to say is going shopping. My favorite recreational activity is going shopping. Yes, is going shopping. Mm hmm. Okay, uh, or is actually here we could say is going shopping or is to go shopping. Uh, either way would be just fine. I would probably say is to go shopping. Yes. Okay, uh, is to go shopping. You can say is going shopping as well. Okay. Uh, next thing here, you said it make me f me become pretty and beautiful. Okay. Now remember, if it if you are saying it. Okay, you will need to say makes instead of it make, yes, it, makes. it makes. It makes. Okay, and then let's practice the pronunciation on pretty, pr, pretty. Pretty. Okay, uh, uh, don't push on that R sound. You're saying pretty. Okay, so it's pre, pretty. Nice and smooth. Pretty. Good, one more time. Pretty. Pretty. Good. That's it. Okay. Uh, the other word is beautiful. Let's try that. Beautiful. Nice and smooth. Beautiful. Good. Good. All right. Nice job. Thank you, Trang. Thank you, teacher. Let's go to Nural. All right, Nural. Let's have you practice number thirty. Uh, number thirty-six, please. Thirty-six. Um, okay, what is your favorite movie or movie genre? Use reasons and details to support your answer. Okay. All right, 15 seconds. 
Um, may I speak about a movie genre? Genre. Sure. Oh, okay. My. Okay, very cool. This is the closest I've got it to 15 seconds. Almost right on. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, are, are you ready to go? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Uh, my favorite genre movie is uh, comedy. I love comedy for two very important reasons. First, uh, comedies make me feel good. Uh, look, for example, yesterday I came from work and I was upset about something happened at work. So I turned on a movie and uh, it's called uh, Big Mama uh, with Eddie Murphy as uh, the actor. So I enjoy it. I had a lot of fun. Uh, it was great. I love it. So it changed my mind from unhappy to happy. Uh, therefore, for these reasons, uh, for this reason, I love comedies. Good. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So you stumbled a little bit on your on your conclusion, but you got it at at the very end. Okay. Therefore, for these reasons, I enjoy comedies. Okay. Very good yeah, job. Because I lie. <laughs> I say two reasons that they give only one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's that's true. That's true. Yeah, and uh, but you did uh, you did uh, share a story with that. Yeah. So okay. Uh, so give me give me one second here. Um, okay. All right. So um, nice uh, nice introduction. Okay, um, and your supporting statements here. Okay, um, uh, so uh, oh, first thing. Okay, in your in your introduction, uh, you said um, my favorite genre movie. Okay, uh, you need to flip genre and movie. My favorite movie genre. Oh yes, movie genre. Okay, and my favorite movie genre is comedy. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so after that, um, you said that uh, that uh, it, it is. Uh, for two two very important reasons, okay. Um, you uh, you explained why you why you liked it, and then you you shared a story, okay. Um, you said uh, you went home, you had a bad day at work, you went home, and you turned on a movie, okay. Now here you said I turn on a movie, it's called Big Mama's House, okay. Now here we would need to say I turned, okay, using a past tense here, I turned on a movie. Okay, mm -hmm. that is called. Okay, that is called yeah. Big Mamas. Okay, instead of it's called. Yes, that is. Okay? That is called Big Mamas. Okay, or Big Mamas House, whatever it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, next here, uh, you said I enjoy it. Okay, uh, you would need to use past tense here. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Oh, I want to eat. Okay. All right, and then um, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, all I had. And then uh, yeah, uh, with your with your uh, conclusion, you ended it ended it nicely. You skipped around a little bit, but then finally ended up on on the right words. Okay, so that was really good. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. So just remember when you're talking about something in past tense that you're you're using words in past. Okay. Yes, teacher. Teacher, please, one question. Yes, sure. I, 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 mentioned, I mentioned the actor in the movie, uh, Eddie Murphy, but uh -huh. I, I, mentioned, I mentioned the name of the actor in the movie, uh, but I think I say it wrongly. I say with, with the actor Eddie Murphy. Is that That's fine. Thing? Yeah, that's oh. fine. With the actor Eddie Murphy. Uh -huh. Oh, that correct? Yeah, that's correct. I, I can say I watch a movie with the actor. Uh huh. Oh. With the actor Eddie Murphy. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah, you, you can say that. You can also say I also I watched a movie that has the actor Eddie Murphy in it. Oh, that's how, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. That would be the other way to say it. Now, whether or not that's pertinent or uh, uh, information, <laughs> um, now it really isn't. Okay. Oh. It, it, so yeah, in this in this type of answer, it doesn't matter if Eddie Murphy's in it or you know things like that. 
okay? Mm. Uh, but it, it's, the, it's the real reason why I, I, I recommend staying away from stories, okay? And really just kind of mm. sticking, sticking to, your, to your facts. Okay, so if yeah. you're going to have two two very important reasons, you share one reason, maybe uh, maybe a little little thing of how it changes your mood. I had a bad day at work. I turned on a comedy movie, and it made me feel better towards the end of the day. Okay, uh, the next reason is um, uh, whatever your whatever your next reason was going to be. Share a short little thing. Okay, so yeah, you don't need to add in those those extra extra uh, bits and pieces. Okay. Because yeah. because it is timed and you have it, you have a short amount of time to to answer the question. Okay. Yeah. My my second reason was uh, they don't make me think, like a okay. drama movie or something. But I okay. didn't do it because it was because I say a story and it took time for me. Yeah. Yeah. So in that case, you could say. Um, and my second reason is uh, is because um, I can I can just sit back and watch it. I don't have to think at all. Okay? Yeah. I can sit back and watch it and just laugh. Therefore, mm. these are the reasons why I enjoy comedy movies. Okay? All right. Very good. Nice job, Nuda. Thank you, sir. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. Thank you. No teacher. problem. Let's go to Mustafa. All okay. right, Mustafa. Uh, very good. Yours is number 34. Please go ahead and read that. Uh, what is your favorite free time activity? Uh, use reasons and de reasons and details to support your answer. Um, okay. Okay. Fifteen seconds. Uh, okay. Uh, my free time activity is usually uh, okay. watching. Okay. Uh, hold on. Hold on one second. Do you want Do you want the fifteen seconds to uh, think about your answer, or are you or are you just going to go into it? Uh, I can start it. Okay. All right. Let me start it over. Okay. Ready? Okay. Mm, I usually uh, used to. Uh, I usually used to uh, see some uh, movies or uh, watching television, or in uh, some other times I prefer to play some instrumental music. Uh, I prefer to play, for example, piano or listen to uh, some sorts of music. I like a classical one, I prefer them. Um, sometimes I uh, prefer to uh, prefer cooking. Uh, as you know, I am uh, talent in cooking, and uh, I, um, I usually um, use okay, to. Okay, uh, Okay, give me one second here. Okay, now. Um, uh, this this was the reason why I was asking you if you wanted the the 15 seconds so that you could plan out uh, what uh, what you were going to say. Now, uh, let's talk about the structure here. Uh, with TOEFL, you need to have a structured answer. Okay, um, they want them to be answered in mini essay format. That means that you need an introduction. Okay, you need okay. supporting sentences and then a conclusion. All right. Okay. Now, now here you did not have an introduction. A, an introduction can be as simple as um, saying this: My favorite free time activity uh, is this. Okay. Uh, you could say okay. instrument, playing an instrument. Okay. Um, or you could say, I I actually have many free time activities that I enjoy playing. Okay. okay. The these are. Okay, and you do that. Now, that that isn't necessarily answering the question because they want to know what they're only asking for one one free time activity. Okay. Now the reason why. Okay. So let's let's choose music for example. Okay. My favorite my favorite free time activity is uh, playing music. Okay. Um, and then uh, you would go on and you would explain why that is your favorite free time activity. Okay, because what you did was just listed the the activities that you like to do without explaining why. And what they want to to uh, have you do is explain what your answer is, defend your answer. Okay. 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 So after that, then you want to uh, end with a conclusion, and your conclusion is very simple, just like, like the introduction. You could say uh, those are the reasons why um, I like playing an instrument for my free time activity. 
Okay, okay. I should okay. support it. Yeah, so it comes all the way back around to what you, you what you said at the very beginning. Okay, referring yeah. referring back to those uh, uh, sentences that that you had mentioned. Now. Um, uh, Grammar-wise, here I want to mention a couple things. So first up, you said uh, some instrumental musics. Okay, uh, here you would not need to uh, to pluralize music. Okay, uh, you could just say some instrumental music, some instrumental okay. music. Okay. Um, uh, the other thing here is uh, you said a talent in cooking. You can say a talent in cooking. Um, uh, the the other thing that you could say is that you are a talented cook. I am a talented cook. Talented cook. Okay. Okay. All right. Nice job, Mustafa. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's go to. Um, let's see here, Matthias. Okay. Okay, Matthias. Let me have you do number thirty-seven, please. Thirty-seven. Okay. Describe a particular TV show that you think is excellent, including specific details and, exa and examples in your, in your answer. Okay. All right, 15 seconds here. Okay. 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 All right. Go ahead and go. A TV show um, I enjoy a very lot is uh, Animal Planet. This show uh, uh, offers the opportunity to know about the animals and your um, um, ha how the animals um, are in the environment and 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 what they eat anything things we we can see every day so uh, i think the animals are uh, a very important in this world okay give me one second here Okay. All right. Now, um, let's take a look at structure first. Okay. Um, you started off with an introduction. You had some supporting uh, statements there, and then, um, and then, sort of a conclusion. Okay. Now, your conclusion, your introduction uh, was very nice. Okay. You said um, um, a uh, a particular TV show that I think is excellent is Animal Planet. Okay. Now, your conclusion. Is it, you're going to use some of those same words again. You're going to say uh, those are the reasons why I believe Animal Planet is excellent. Okay. Okay. So we're going to come back around to our introduction. All right, referring to those uh, statements that we made. Okay. Now, uh, with with your statements. Okay. Uh, some people like to use uh, two two statements uh, or three, four. Sometimes they like to number them off. Okay. Sometimes they like to say, um, uh, for instance, um, uh, Animal Planet is uh, great because we get to see the animals in their natural environment. Okay. A second reason why Animal Planet is great, okay, is because of uh, we because we don't we don't get to see these things every day. It's something new that we get to see. Okay, or whatever your your second point is. Okay, uh, so um, you might want to do that. That might help you organize your thoughts just a little bit uh, a little bit better. Okay, um, and then yes, definitely ending with a conclusion that comes back to what you said in your introduction, and you you would then be referring to your to your statements. Okay, now let's take a look at some grammar here. Um, uh, you had said, I'm enjoying a very lot. Okay. Um, instead of saying, I'm enjoying a very lot, okay, uh, we would say, I enjoy a lot. Okay. Okay, so I enjoy a lot. Okay, perfect. 
Okay. Um, let's practice the pronunciation of the word environment. Give me a good V sound there. Environment. Environment. Okay. One more time. N. Environment. Environment. There you go. Good. Okay. Um, and last thing here, you said uh, any things we can see every day. Okay. So here, instead of saying any things we can see every day, uh, I'm sure you were meaning we are able to see things we can't see every day. Is that what you were trying to say? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, in, yeah, instead of any things, okay, we would say we are able to see things we can't. Okay? When you pronounce can't, make sure to pronounce that T. Can't see. Can't see. Every day. Can't see. Okay? Can't every see every day. Mm -hmm. Okay? And if not, okay? Okay. So, so here's the difference. A lot of times when we do drop that T, okay. But let me let me show you the difference in how we pronounce that. If I the difference in can and can't, okay. So listen to my vowel sound first. Can, ca, can. When I say can, okay, it's a little more open. Ca, can. But when I pronounce can't, it's a little more nasally. You hear it up here, right? Ca, can't, can't, can't. Uh huh. Can, ca, can, can, can't. Okay, so I move that vowel sound a little bit further up in my mouth. Okay, then I also do not pronounce the T. I say can't. My tongue goes up to the top and it stops. It, that is called what's called a stop T. Okay, which is what you are trying to uh, trying to pronounce. But if you do not change the vowel sound, it sounds exactly like can. Okay, so you need to say can't, can't. Okay, can. and you push that vowel up, vowel sound up in the back. Can, can't. Can, can't. Uh huh. Can't. Can't. Okay. Can. Good. Okay. Can. Very good. All right. Nice job, man. Uh, let's go to Igor. Okay, yep. Igor. Let me have you do. Uh, number 33, please. Uh, name a place in your account you would recommend others to visit. Describe this place and explain why you would recommend it. Okay. All right, 15 seconds, Igor. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I place I'd I'd recommend other people to visit is my home city. My home city uh, is Lauras. And there we have a lot of nice people to meet. Yeah. This is the I recommend this place. Yeah. No? Okay. All right, good. Now you had a good introduction. Okay, uh, you named what the city is. Okay, but you only gave me one reason. All right. Now we want at least two reasons, and you had time enough to do at least two reasons. Okay. I usually recommend between two and four. All right. And then you had a conclusion. All right. Now, uh, Igor, your pronunciations were pretty good, man. Okay, really, really good pronunciations, and you. and your grammar was was very good. Okay, so yeah, let's work on adding a little bit more information. So uh, people are aren't very nice. What's another reason why I would go there? The another reason is a place to drink a beer with friends. Okay, so yeah, and it's they a all not with them. Great. So it's a great place to drink beers with friends and stay out all night. 
Okay, and let's let's try one more. One more reason. What would be another reason why this would be a great place? Another reason is a um, nice party you we have here. Yeah. A nice a nice club. party? Yeah. Ah, okay, nightclubs. Okay, so there's a lot of cool nightclubs that you can go to. Okay, good. So those are the things that you want to share. You want to have it at least two, at least two reasons. Okay, and and topping out at four. Okay, about three is good. Two is two is pretty good. Okay, all right. So, um, it, but like I said, your structure was was good, but just a little bit more information. Okay, Igor. Okay, thank you. All right, nice job, man. Okay, let's go to Donato. All right, Donato, let's see here. Okay. Okay, Donato, number 38, okay. please. What is your favorite style of music? Use reasons and details to support your answer. Okay, 15 seconds. Okay, are you ready? Yes. All right, go ahead. My, yeah, okay. Yep. My, fa my favorite style of music uh, is the reggae one. Uh, it's my favorite one because uh, uh, it reminds me of uh, Jamaica and uh, the, Afro, um, the Afro culture. It is also um, something uh, which reminds the master uh, uh, of uh, Bob Marley. Um, for this reason, uh, um, I like it. And uh, besides that, uh, I I think about uh, uh, when I'm listening to reggae music. Uh, I think about the Rasta culture, and um, that's to sum up. That's why I like reggae music. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, uh, so um, I think uh, you uh, you started to end, and you're like, hey, I've got more time left, right? And so you added in an extra one. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Yeah, I'm starting to okay. to go. Yeah, to be instead of short of time, long of time. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Which is a good thing. All right. So what you what you've learned is how to shorten up your answers, okay, and just give the pertinent information. All right. I know the the first time when you were coming into class, uh, you would get what about halfway through your first uh, first answer, and I'd say time. You're like, oh. <laughs> right, and you're like, oh, okay, uh, I'm out of time. Uh, well, I didn't get there, but yeah, you've you've made awesome progress. Awesome progress. Okay, R really good job. Okay, uh, good. So let's uh, let's take a look here. Now, when we're talking about uh, genres or types of music, okay, um, uh, all we would need to do is say the music. Okay, my favorite type of music is reggae. My favorite type of music is heavy metal. My favorite type of music is Irish punk rock. Right. Okay? So from there, instead of saying uh, my favorite type of music is the reggae one, okay, take out the article the and take out one. My favorite type of music is reggae. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we wouldn't need to say the reggae one. Okay, now um, uh, when when you were uh, answering, you said it reminds me Jamaica. We're missing a preposition there. What would you need in between me and Jamaica? It reminds me Jamaica. The Jamaica. Uh, uh, not I, instead of a an article, we need a preposition. Ah, it reminds me uh, of. Yes. Okay. Reminds me of Jamaica. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, last part. Uh, when you say these, when you're talking about your the the reason at the very end, make sure to pluralize reasons. Okay. okay. Instead of saying for these reason, okay, it is for these reasons. 
So the, for I, these I, reasons. That's it. Okay, for these reasons, I like reggae music. Mm -hmm. Okay, does that make sense? Perfectly. Cool. Awesome job, Donato. Very good progress. Very good. Thanks so much. Great. Let's go to Amparo. All right, here, Amparo. And yours is going to be 32. Now, uh, have you done 32, Amparo? You have, haven't you? Where would you most, you, yes, you've done that one. Where would you most like to, yeah. You have done that one. Let's do, um, I don't think you've done this one, 39. 39, no. Okay, go ahead and read that. What is your favorite book? Use reasons and details to support your answer. Okay, 15 seconds. Oh, a little long. I'm trying to get down to a 15.015 again. That was great. <laughs> okay. okay, are you ready to go? I think so. Okay, go ahead. My favorite book right now is a, a book called A Coffee with God. Uh, I like this book um, because the readings that it has uh, made me feel very thankful for the things that I, I have. Um, the book um, uh, motivates me every day, and it's a good option to start uh, the, uh, my day. Um, and uh, for all of these reasons, I like the this book the, the most. Okay, very good, very good. Um, nice, uh, nice introduction. Okay, no grammatical issues there. Uh, your conclusion was great as well. No grammatical issues. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look in the body of your of your um, of your answer. Okay, uh, you said the readings that it has. Okay, uh, what did you mean by the readings? Okay, the things I can read in it, or the way that the person wrote. Well, uh, it's um, separated. Uh stories for every day, just a small reading. Okay, so the, so the stories that, is, mm -hmm. that it has. Okay, yeah. so instead of saying readings, I would say stories. Okay. Okay, yeah, and that would, uh, so even though they might separate it into, now is it, uh, is it in English or is it in uh, Spanish? In Spanish. In Spanish. Mm -hmm. um, what, what, would, what do they call them in Spanish? Um... Well, historias. So historias uh, for like everyday uh, historias. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just uh, yeah, I would follow along that line. Okay. So instead of readings, definitely stories. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Next part, you said uh, the book mo the book motivate me. Okay. Every day. What do we need to do with the the verb motivate? Motivate. Huh? Yes. At the end. An S. Yeah. Motivates. Mm -hmm. Motivate. Okay, the book motivates me every day. Okay, awesome. Yeah, those are the only two things. Um, yeah, everything else is really good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Nice job. Nice job. Okay, let's go back up to the top uh, to Trong. Yes. And Trong, let's have you do 32. I don't think you have done this one. Have you done 32, Trong? Mm, can you open uh, this top? I have done this one. I uh, like to live in my hometown. Uh, okay. Um, and I believe you've also done this one as well, 30, 31. Uh, let's go to uh, 40 for you, okay? Number number 40, Trung. What is your most useful study aid? Describe it and explain why it is useful in helping you to study uh, sorry, uh, can I ask, um, can I talk about a scholarship that I haven't, uh, haven't get yet? That you haven't gotten yet? Haven't yet, haven't, uh, haven't gotten it yet? Um, uh, yes, I, uh, uh, yes, you can, you can talk, uh, talk about, uh, something that you haven't gotten yet, uh, but you will need to, you'll need to speak about it in future. Yes. 
Okay. Okay. Understand. Okay. All right. Very good. So you have uh, 15 seconds. <laughs> Okay, ready? Yes. Go ahead. Um, the most useful study aid right now for me is a scholarship, a corner full variety scholarship. Um, with this scholarship, I can um study a master degree in United States. It includes all the uh, accommodation, tutor fee, and even the uh, Fly ticket and it, and it including um, fee for GMAT or TOEFL test. So um, I think it's very helpful for me, and I hope that I can receive this one. That's the reason why I think uh, it is the most helpful study aid. Okay. All right. Very good. Let's uh, let's take a look here. So um, structure first. Uh, you had an introduction. You had a uh, good conclusion. Okay, and then you had some supporting statements in there that explain why uh, it would be a uh, a helpful study aid for you. Okay, now uh, one thing that that I would like to uh, to share in there. Okay, so um, w with the uh, with the study aid, remember how I said you knew you would need to talk about it in future because you haven't gotten it yet. So um, you you had split it. You had talked about it in present tense. Or let's see. Yes, you talked about it in present tense, and then and then you talked about it in future tense at the end. I hope uh, uh, I will get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what I would do here is uh, I would say, okay, uh, what's your most useful study aid? Okay, my most useful, uh, the most useful study aid, um, uh, uh, I will get. Okay, okay, my mo the most useful study aid I will get is. A, uh, a, a full ride scholarship to study in the United States. Okay, this will help me because it will give me a place to stay. It will pay for my schooling and books. Okay, and they will even yeah. pay for my flight over. Yes. All right. Um, and these are the reasons why this will be my most useful study aid. Okay. So notice, um, I'm saying they will pay. Okay, they will pay for my schooling. They will pay for my books. They will pay for me uh, for a place for me to stay. Okay, they will. They uh, might even pay for my my flight over there. Okay, so talking about things that uh, um, will happen in the future or might happen in the future. Okay, yeah. so that's that's how how I would organize that that question. Okay, yeah. or that that answer. Okay, uh, but your structure was good. Now. Um, Let's talk about what you had said. I want to practice the pronunciation of the of the phrase "full ride scholarship." Make sure that when you are pronouncing that sh, okay, it is a sh sound. Okay, so we're going to say "full ride scholarship." Try that. Full ride scholarship. Good. One more one more time. Full ride scholarship. Full ride scholarship. Good. Okay. Next is uh, you said uh, and even the fly ticket. Okay. Um, uh, the uh, the fly ticket, okay. Instead of saying fly ticket, we would say even the flight. Even the flight. Uh huh. The flight. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, or okay, you could you could even say even my airline ticket. Even my airline ticket. Uh huh. Airline even ticket. Even the flight or even my airline ticket. Okay. Yeah. So you could say the flight or the airline ticket. That that would be the way to say that. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Very very good. Nice job, Trang. Thank you. Good. Now, uh, yes, Mario. I think uh, I I skipped over you because when I went down that that area uh, that direction, uh, you had left the class and then you came back and left the class and came back. So let's uh, let's have you uh, let's have yeah, you uh, had take a chance. Connection problems. Yeah, but I am back. <laughs> okay. Very cool, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's do number thirty-two for you. Okay. Go ahead and read okay. this, please. Thirty-two. Where you'd most like to live? Describe this place and explain why you would like to live there. All right, 15 seconds. Okay.
Okay, you ready? Yeah. Can I start? Yep, go ahead. Okay. So the place that I, I'd like to live uh, would be... Uh, I don't have a specific here, but I, I really would like to live in the USA, uh, mainly because the, the language that I, I'd like to improve and I, I like the American culture and the, the way that they, they live, the Americans live, so I'd like to live there to uh, know a lot of nice places and uh, learn about the, their culture, about the sport that I, I really liked and some nice place, tourist places that I always plan to, to visit. So the, the USA would be the place that I chose to, to live. Okay. All right. Hold on one second. Okay. Uh, all right. Very good. So um, uh, let's take a look at the structure. You had an introduction, uh, some supporting sentences, and a, uh, uh, and a conclusion. Okay, uh, saying uh, that's why uh, the USA is where I chose to live. Now here, um, chose would be in past tense. Okay, we want to keep things in present tense if you're answering in present tense. Okay, so uh, we would we would want to say that's why the USA is the place I would choose. All right, so we're we're uh, we're talking we're we're going to use uh, uh, first first person here and not not say chose. Okay, uh, so. So I would choose to live. The USA is the place that I would choose to live. Okay, so using the conditional. Okay. okay. Um, next up, I want to practice pronunciation of the word city. Try that, please. City. City. Good. Next one is culture. Culture. Okay. Make sure to pronounce that L. Here you're saying co culture. Okay. When you pronounce the L. Okay. When you're pronouncing the L, your tongue needs to come up and touch the top of your mouth. Col, culture, culture. That's it. That's it. Okay. Uh, and I know that's a that's a um, that's a hard thing to do for for uh, um, those who speak Portuguese. Okay. Because that L you like to pronounce as an O sound. Co, culture. Okay. Instead of co, it's col. Okay. Make sure that you're curving that tongue up. Okay. Um, uh, now, let's see here. Okay. So uh, the uh, you said uh, the language language I like to improve. Okay. Um, so if you are if you are making making that statement, I would say I would like to improve my language, uh, I, or I would be able to improve my English in the United States. Okay, so I would be able to improve my English in the U.S. Okay. Okay, and then uh, with your sport, uh, what's which sport do you like from the U.S.? Uh, American football, mm -hmm. basketball. Yeah, these okay. two are the that I most like. Okay, uh, so yeah, I would mention those. Okay. Instead of saying uh, uh, because of the sport I like, okay, um, mention those. Okay, because I uh, uh, I also like football and uh, and uh, basketball. So American football and basketball. Okay, those are my those are my two favorite sports, and those are are and in the U.S. Uh, they they play those sports more often. Okay, um, so yeah, um, what I would do with your with your answer is is try and be a little bit more organized as you're as you're flowing through your your answers. Okay, um, and so after you go through your introduction, say, hey, uh, the reason, uh, the reason why, uh, okay, so I would, I would rather live in the United States because I can improve my English in the United States. Okay, they play uh, my two favorite sports, and I would be able to watch them. Okay, and then uh, I would be able to learn more about the American culture. Okay, so you you always want to use wood in there because it's something that you hope to do that you or you that you might not be able to do. 
Okay, so it's it's something that you would prefer to do. Uh, it's a possibility. It's out there. Hopefully, one day you'll be able to. But right now, you don't know if it's going to happen. Okay, that's why we would say would. Okay, does that does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. Very Thank good. You. Nice job. Okay, let's go to uh, Nurel. All right, Nurel, let's have you do our last question for the hour. Sure. And. All right, let's do 31 for you, please. 31. Where is a good place to have fun? Whoops. Sorry. It. Uh, this slide. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Where is a good place to have fun in your city or town? Describe this place and explain why it is fun. Okay. 15 seconds. Okay, you ready? Yes. Go ahead. Um, a place that I really enjoy and have fun is a city park in my hometown for two important reasons. First, I always uh, find someone to play volleyball with. Volleyball is an outdoor activity and uh, it uh, makes me feel good and meet new people and be away from uh, and take a break from my hectic day. Uh, the second reason is that city uh, park has always uh, some activities going on. Last week they had um, a carnival and they had fun. It was a lot of food. So therefore, these reasons are why City Park is uh, the most important place to me to have fun. Okay, give me one second here. Okay. All right, very good, very good. Uh, uh, nice, uh, nice structure. You had your introduction, you had your supporting statements, uh, as well as your conclusion. Okay, uh, so uh, I want to take a look at uh, pronunciations first. Okay, yes. um, now um, based on what you had told me before, uh, you speak uh, French. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so and I know uh, when the e n in French is more of an on sound. Okay, so instead of enjoy, the word is en, enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy. Enjoy, okay. Uh, next word here is the word volleyball, okay. The O at the very beginning and the A at the end are going to have the same sound. Volleyball, volleyball. Volleyball. Uh-huh, volleyball. One more time. Volleyball. Uh-huh, volleyball. Volleyball. Just like that. Volleyball. Okay. Volleyball. Okay. Let's practice the word feel. 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 Okay. Feel. Now, the position of your your tongue. Whoops. What's going on here? Okay. Let's uh, let's take a look at the position of your your tongue here. I don't know what happened. Oh, the question and answer. Okay. Uh, when you're pronouncing that L, you're saying Feel, okay, and your tongue is 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 further back. You're saying feel, feel, okay. Feel. Curve, curve your tongue. Feel, feel, okay. Curve that tongue down and up. Feel, feel, okay. Almost. Let me have you say, uh, uh, uh huh. Feel. Good. One more time. Uh, uh. okay. Eel. Eel. Ah, okay. So I see what's happening. When, when we uh, when we pronounce the e sound as well as you, your tongue raises up like this in the back. So it's very easy for you to go eel, and your tongue goes right there. So eel. Okay. Instead of eel, and then curving. Okay. But that's what you need to do. Um, if if you want to have a a really good l sound. Now, are they going to count you against it? Uh, count anything against uh, you? 
holy, holy cow, I can't say that. Are they going to count uh, count anything against you if you say that L a little off? Um, yes. Probably not. Um, are, did they did they mention anything about the L sound with you? <laughs> no, no. Okay. But but they don't. Um, they give a general feedback. They don't give like they, personal feedback. Okay, and they mention. Did they mention the L with you? Uh, n yeah, I, yeah, um, they did. yeah. I have issue with L. Yes, that too. N and L. Um, yeah, it it has to do with the position of your tongue. Okay, you have to curve that tongue down and up. Okay, uh, because your tongue right now it's flat and it's against the top of your mouth, sort of like this. You're saying, uh, like feel. Mm. Feel. Okay, and your mm. mouth is really closed. Yeah. We say feel. Our tongue, our mouth, our jaw drops a little bit more. Our tongue comes down like this and goes up. Feel. Feel. Uh, almost. It's still. I can still hear it uh, further back in the mouth. Okay. So that mm. uh, that would be one one thing to work on. Keep keep working on that L sound. Okay, um, I'm sure you can look up videos, um, uh, videos on uh, online to try and help you uh, pronounce a good L sound. Because yes, uh, if if not, if you're pronouncing your L in the back of your mouth like that, um, that's the same position where we pronounce pronounce the N. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. the D. Okay, the D is pronounced there. Um, T in in some cases. Okay, T is more pronounced towards the front of the mouth, towards the teeth. Okay, but it can it can cause some problems. Uh, people might not be able to understand the word uh, all the way. Okay, but yeah, just watch that. Um, uh, let's see here. Okay, uh, you said it was a lot of food. Okay, instead of it was a lot of food, there. Okay, you were talking about the uh, party in the park. There was a lot of food. There was, yes. Okay, instead of it was a lot of food, there was a lot of food. Okay, uh, last one here, you said most important place to me to have fun. Okay, uh, that's why uh, the city park is the most important place to me to have fun. Uh, you would say for me, okay, uh, most important place uh, for me to have fun. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, very good. Okay, you guys, uh, nice job. Thank you for uh, for coming into class this hour. Uh, again, I do uh, I do this class uh, at the same time uh, every day, and I'll probably go through this next week. If I can't find any more questions, um, maybe we'll have to do some more mixing up um, uh, of the questions, like what we're doing, so that you you aren't answering the same question all the time. Okay. All right, you guys. Thank you very much for coming in. All right, we'll see ya. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, teacher, I have 120 questions. If you want you, me to send them to you. You have you have 120 questions? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Send send me your 120 questions. Yes, I will. Uh, okay. Uh, your email. Um. Do you have my Facebook? Oh let, yes, okay. Let me let me give you my Facebook real quick. Yes, That'll be please. the the easiest uh, the easiest way. Give me one second. Okay. And I'll give you the uh, the link here. Okay, so this is this is the link to my verbling my verbling Facebook. Okay. Okay. Oh, there you go. That that should get you to where where you need, and you can you can send me any questions and whatnot there. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, teacher, do yeah. I uh, copy them and print print them on your Facebook? Is oh, you have you have 124 of these uh, for these classes. Oh, okay, cool. Oh yes, for these classes. Yes. Cool. Yeah, just uh, copy them, paste them in in a uh, in a uh, email, and then I can take them and uh, and put them on uh, put them on a Word document or something like that. Yeah. Okay, and your email is? Um, you you can send it to Facebook. To Facebook, okay. Yeah, okay. and you know, and that'll that'll go right to my email. I don't want to put it on on okay. here because then I'll yes. get a whole bunch of other emails from from people. Yes, okay? yes, I agree. All right. Yes, all Very right. Very good. Thank you, Nuna. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. bye.